Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Before I get started, I need to explain kind of what you're about to watch. I basically just took the biggest L that I could ever take as a content creator. I accidentally deleted all of the footage of myself, which is extremely upsetting because I was really excited to be back and I figured the best way to kind of put this video out is to basically just use all of the gameplay footage, cut it into all the highlights and just explain kind of what was going through my head. I don't want to skip any area, especially this one i will leave all of the boss fights which there was quite a lot in this area i will leave all those in full i am extremely sorry about it i know a lot of you have been expecting this episode and uh, the return of dark souls after the christmas break so the next episode will be the dlc and that video will be as usual yeah <laughs> This is definitely um, a learning experience for me. I'm about to voice over this. Uh, my computer can't do Premiere Pro voiceover and OBS at the same time. So it's just gonna be audio. We're just gonna make the best of it. <laughs> and I hope that you enjoy this video at least a little bit. Alrighty gang, so first things first, we're picking up right where we left off and I have a lot of souls. So you already know we're spending this money on some new outfits. And what better outfit than Ornstein's full set, baby. Also, I ended up buying the crown of the dark sun and the fit because it was too fire here is me checking out the new outfits i love it i think it looks super sleek and this one i noticed we actually saw a ghost wearing this in the tomb of the giant so super stoked on that first things first though dragon head i remember that i never actually spat fire and here we go guys look how beautiful that is so obviously i had to test it on some peeps boom insta kill boom shield i still got a baby bought the mask of the father ended up buying the mask of the mother. I still got so much money, so I upgraded my pyromancy, which is great. So now we're back at the Daughter of Chaos, and I ended up joining her covenant, because, I mean, she's kind of cute, you know? So, um, yeah. <laughs> the dragon head is kind of ridiculous, but I love it. I tried going through this wall, it, it didn't work out. Um, but I did remember that you guys told me that there's an NPC back at uh, the swamp here, and uh, I did notice someone in the distance, up to the left there. This was actually quite stressful. I totally forgot uh, the whole poison mm. thing, but here she is. Mere undead, yet you can see me. This was extremely stressful. I thought she was gonna get killed by these boulders, so you know I had to protect my lady, my new lady friend. You have a gift. Are you too? It worked out pretty well. Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue my Hell yeah, guys, I'm a pupil now. You must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? Sure, why not? So yeah, realized that now we have a Pyromancer in Blight Town. Got a bunch of new cool stuff, which we love. Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. Over 200 years ago, there was a man almost as bungling as you. In your world, he was called Salaman, the Master Salaman. Pyromancer. Salaman, cool name. The rascal really made something of himself. Okay, amazing. Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing, always fear the flame. Right here, I it's totally thought she was going to say fear the old blood. Yourself. I got really excited, but... I would hate to see that happen again. No luck, hmm? Well, young pupil, you must have patience, but do not keep me waiting much longer. Right, so I realized I was too broke to get anything. She got kind of pissed, so I took a soul and then I bought now the whip. Go. And now Whatever she just told do, me to fuck off, basically. Do not crack oh, and cool. go hollow. Lest and no, I will never go hollow. Hence wasted. why I'm voiceovering this video instead of <laughs> quitting. <laughs> Anyways, I equipped the whip. Had to do it. I also kindled this bonfire, completely forgetting that there's another one like 10 steps away. Here's the whip. It's pretty sick. I like it. Now we're in the good old demon ruins for the first, well, not the first time, but... You know what I mean. I checked out the place. It looked absolutely insane. I was kind of mind blown. I saw the fog gate. I knew someone was coming. So I went down to the lake and quickly noticed a bunch of fellas in the distance. This was quite terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Made it to the end and uh, wanted to see if I could walk on fire. Yep, yeah, no, no, horrible idea. I lost so much health. I decided to just basically move up as I see a giant spider in the distance behind me. Absolutely terrifying. Try the whip on these folks. Uh, then I remember that these killer snails come out of them, so I just ran away. I also noticed a very creepy creature in the distance. I know that's coming. I'm stressing, but it's okay. We're going through the fog gate, and hopefully something good happens. No boss yet. I'm feeling happy. You know, we can still roam. Oh, God. Okay. It's kind of friendly. I'm nearby. I'm looking at it. I'm talking about how this place reminds me of Mustafar and Mordor. You know, it's kind of a vibe, and we have a friend all of a sudden. I see an item in the distance. 
Oh my god. Okay. This is actually a big jump scare for me. But yeah, I'm I'm kind of freaking out. I'm I'm clicking the whip for no reason. Uh, I I don't really know what's gonna happen here, but we're making it work. I'm just kind of waiting. Okay. Yeah. We get absolutely smoked. Um, I think I have a window here. Boom. Good hits. Good hits. I think I end up double wielding, uh, but I actually don't remember. To be honest, this was quite stressful. Boom. Good hit. Boom. Amazing combo. <laughs> this voiceover shit is actually ridiculous, but it's okay. We're making it work, guys. What even is this thing, man? It's like a spider demon discharge. <laughs> Oh yeah, the name is like very ridiculous, but you know, we're, we're doing this thing, we're doing this thing. We're doing the Hydra kind of technique, you know? We're letting it hit us and then land and just hit it and then run away. It's, it seems to be working out so far. Okay, yep, got absolutely pancaked. I don't really know if that's a term, but again, making it work, baby. Oh, here comes another one, here comes another one. Will I, will I dodge it? I actually don't remember if I dodged this. Oh, okay, maybe nothing. Oh, yeah. Big fire incoming. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, th that pissed me off. I also mentioned that this looked like a like a chicken wing, and I was, um, I was quite hungry when I was filming this, but that hunger quickly went away later in the episode. Um, it, got, it got, oh, wow. Yeah, I got absolutely <laughs> roasted there. Jesus. But you know what? We come out on top. We're killing it, baby. This is amazing. I'm feeling glorious. I thought for a second that that could be the the main boss of the area, but then I was like, that there's no way. We also didn't get a soul, um, but there's a cutscene, and you know how much we love cutscenes. Somehow the lava is going away. And that's very exciting. Then I checked out probably my favorite outfit of the entire game. I put on the hood later in the episode, but oh my god, is that a small capper demon? Yes, it is. Okay, we got this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Dodge. Nope. Okay. Failed there. Weave. Bitch. Weave. 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 Okay. Shield. Shout out shield. I actually thought this was going to be a lot tougher, so I, that's why I'm kind of being generous with my... Okay, yeah, I tried to burn it. Yeah, that didn't go well, but then I realized, okay, not a lot of health. Got its ass. Okay, this buddy here freaked me the fuck out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. But quickly realize, okay, also, not that strong. So we go in for the kill. Okay, keep getting wrecked. Go in again. Dodge. Uh, I didn't even dodge. I just, I just moved. Uh, but we got his ass. And I uh, felt quite accomplished until his buddies came for me. Um, yep. Yeah, two on our asses. Uh, I think I can do this. I'm quite confident. Then I get slammed. And into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Burning alive, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they just cooked. I'm getting cooked. And I'm dead. Hell yeah, maybe. <laughs> I put on the full fit. Instantly remember the shadows of Yarnum and Nazgul. Feet. They look hella nice. I don't know how he's doing it. I put on some shoes, okay? This it's quite hot out here. I can't just be running around barefoot. It's kinda silly. Worn by the witch Qualana of Isolith, mother of Pyromancy and daughter of chaos. She wore this gold-hemmed black cloak before even the Age of Fire, and it offers strong resistance versus fire, poison, and other perils. I like that. Now we sit at the right bonfire. I kindle it, of course. But well, here we go again, baby. We're getting that item. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're so close. Just go. No, we're dead. Again. I'm sure you guys saw that coming, but it's okay, baby. We try again. Let's go, shortcut. Nope. We're dead. Again. But that's not gonna stop us. Okay, we got this. One. Okay. Nope. We're burning. Yep. Weave. Heal. Good timing. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I might actually do this. Nope. I'm running for it. I'm running for it. Terrible decision on my part. Yeah, no. When we burn alive. Again. So at this point, honestly, I'm giving up. I'm going where the tiny capper demon was, and I'm wrecking his ass again, brother. Let's go. Mm. One, two, three. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, baby. So we head down, and I see that we're getting very close to the giant spider. I don't like that, but it gets worse. Five tiny capper demons. So I say, no, sir. Not today. I'm jumping down. Okay, after, yep. 
We're getting out of here. We're safe. No, we're not. Giant caterpillar coming out the wall. Hate it. Picking up the item. Running away. I'm out of there. No, sir. I try and get this item. Boom. Freaked out by the giant rock. Mm. One hitter. We love that. I risk it for the biscuit. Oh, missed. Got it. Okay, run away. Perfect. More rocks. One hitters. Okay, another giant. No problem. This is easy. We can do this. This was the, basically the first boss of the game. I'm sure we can do this again. No problem. Yep, yeah, nope. Horrible timing. And <laughs> once again, we're dead. <laughs> is anyone keeping count? <laughs> Tiny copper demon again. You know what? No problem. Boom. 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 I'm getting good at this, man. And he dropped an item. The demon great machete. The lesser copper demons use these great swords in pairs. The blade is cast iron and hooked. The sword is imbued with no particular magic. But for those who have strength, it is great weight. Will it's great? Okay. Yep. I tried hitting it, and yep, didn't work. Okay, we're heading down. No problem. Oh my God, it's back. I try and get a good look at it. <laughs> Would you look at that? There's a freaking bonfire, man. I don't know how I miss it. Well, I know how I miss it the first time. I mean, just look at the thing that's in front of it, like. Do you really blame me for running away the first time? I got it, baby. No problem. Sit at the bonfire. Relax for a little second. I'm excited, man. Honestly, I was hating this area up until this point. Then I was like, okay, they're getting generous with the bonfires. We actually, <laughs> we like that, man. So I'm pretty sure I kindled this. Yep, I try and hit this thing. It's still not moving, but I just want to get the fear all over it. You know, man. But here we go again. Giant demon and another caterpillar. No problem. I'm not freaking out. You are. I'm doing just fine. Killing it. Just killing it. I run away, I heal. You know, I learn my lesson. Don't heal under the freaking enemy. Silly. I weave, I hit the kneecaps. Boom, he's weak, he's dead. That's right. I did it. Caterpillar, I don't even stress about it, man. I just walk right past it. I kill the rocks. Boom. Boom. Okay, yeah, so we find a little spot to the right, but I'm like, hold up, man. Doesn't seem like we can get back up. So I check out the fog gate. And to my surprise, I see a friendly face. The Demon Fire Sage. Basically, we fought this thing twice already. But this one's on fire. Kind of lit. I like the, I liked, I liked the music. It kind of took me back to the first episode. Not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, interesting boss room. You know, a lot of branches. Um, I, I, I remember. I remember how to kill this guy. I remember he's got the AoEs and whatnot. Um, so we're going in for the kill, baby. I think I decided to double wield. I know I said that in the last one I didn't do it, but this one I think I do. I learned my lesson. It's been 19 episodes. Double whammy. Double whammy, my guy. Oh my god. Okay. It's not like I'm gonna use the shield against this guy. Okay, okay. Going for the legs there. Yeet. Okay. Horrible timing once again. AoE. Okay, yeah. I didn't get far enough. Classic. Seven flasks. I think we're doing okay. We can heal. Nope, we cannot. We are dead. Again. So we try again, baby. We never give up. But he's breaking through branches. He's coming in hot. Okay. Getting wrecked. Nice. Finally a good dodge. I heal under the boss. Sometimes it works. AoE. Perfect dodge. Nice. Getting the hang of it, getting the hang of it. Get one hit in. AoE, I'm out of there. You can't even see me, dude. Okay, nice. Another great dodge on my part. <laughs> I got a nice hit in the belly, you know? I go in again. Boom. 360 flip. Boom. Okay, get hit by the AoE. No problem, no problem. We're, we're, we're doing better than before. That's all that matters. AoE, away from it. I can't see shit. I'm healing. I'm stressing. We're good. No, we're not. We get slammed to the ground. AoE, I'm out of there. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Almost dead. No problem. We can do this. We got three flasks left. <laughs> I feel like I'm commentating a freaking sport here. Okay, uh, yeah. Get hit by the AoE once again. I am double whamming, though. I'm proud of myself. That's good. I have learned something in the 50 hours of playing this game. Okay, I can't see again. I'm stressed. No problem. I'm out of there. Boom. Belly flops. He misses. I go for the kneecaps. I run away. You know? I'm not being a coward. I'm being smart. 
I heal, I go back in. Mm -hmm. Perfect dodge. Kneecap, toes, ankles, wrecked. Boom. Combo. Beautiful music. I'm fired up. You know, we're past half. Boom, right on the butt cheeks. Hell yeah. You see all those cracks? That's for me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right, we're going in. Boom. Roll in. Amazing. Literally, my heart's beating so fast, and boom, we killed it. Just like that, baby. Victory achieved. Now, am I thinking, is this the final boss? No, it's not. But we did get the demon's catalyst, which is fantastic. Now we go back into this room. I take a look around. I jump. I'm like, okay, there's a cool item over there. I look down. I'm like, holy shit. What is this? I get the item. Then I run all the way to the back and realize it is a dead end. And I'm not jumping off because that would be silly. So I go all the way back. So I jump on this branch. I heal and I go down. I notice these tiny little spiders running away from me. I try and whip them, but they, they get away too fast. But not fast enough. I get one of them. I realize that they're just trying to get out. They're just trying to run away. But I notice that it's locked by some contraption, as usual. Um, so I ended up just, you know, putting them out of their misery. Then I see this. Need covenant. Who's covenant, bro? So now we end up in this room. And I'm like, we can either go up or down. I always go up first. So we run past these rocks. You know, I think they're rocks. Whatever. We find a party up here. Good. We're just hanging out. So, you know, I see an item. I get it. More people show up to the party. No problem. I get the item. Perfect. Just another freaking soul. And then I run past them, you know, all good, all good. And I noticed the most useless stairs ever. They lead to absolutely nothing, um, which I thought was an interesting design. Whoa, that person just came flying down. I realize it's a freaking elevator. And I'm like, where the fuck is this going? Bring me back down. Like, I need to explore some more. And then I see this. Quilag's freaking domain. We are back here. This was a mo one of those moments where... I wish I got it on camera because I was absolutely losing my mind. I did not see this coming at all. Like I tried going down that thing when we first encountered it and I ended up just realizing that it's probably not an elevator. But anyways, that was a huge surprise. Um, then I realized that to advance this freaking covenant, I have to give humanities. Bro, in this economy, like I can't, I can't be doing that. So I realized uh, that door will probably never open, but boom, we find another bonfire, baby. And of course I lit it. So as I see another fog in the distance, I decide to repair my stuff. And will this be the final boss? Maybe. We got a cutscene. That's usually a good, a good indicator. But hold up a second. No. It is the demon that was hanging off the wall. It is a giant, disgusting caterpillar. On fire, baby. This is probably one of the grossest bosses that we fought in this whole game. Easily. I don't know why, but this thing freaked me the hell out, man. And well, you'll see what's about to go down. Centipede Demon. Why do I keep calling Caterpillar? It's a freaking centipede. Is it the same thing? No, Caterpillar's not a centipede. Whatever. <laughs> so here we go. The thing is far away. I'm like, okay, this is going to be another one of those things where it's got to just like land a shot. I got to dodge. And then what the f Okay. It just goes away. Well, let's try that again. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. So, nope. I try and hit it. Miss once again. This is literally the freaking Hydra all over again, man. Nope. Miss once again. Will this be the one? No. It's not going to be the one. So, I'm like, okay, I need a new strategy. So, I try and dodge forward, it? but then he goes crazy. Smashes my shield out of my hand. Well, not out of my hand, but you know what I mean? Okay. Get slammed onto the ground once again. The thing's screaming at me. It's doing backflips or 360 flips or whatever. I hit it. I finally get some shots in. I'm fired up. I'm excited. I get slammed. It's terrifying. It's got so many arms. I don't know if they're heads. I don't know if they're hands. There's a lot going on. But we're doing our best. Well, uh, I don't know about that, actually. Well, okay. We get eaten by the demon. And we're dead. Once again. So you already know we're trying this once again. We have some better understanding now. I'm like, let me check out this place. No, never mind. I think I do it in the next one. <laughs> I keep trying, you know. I'm like, let me dodge. Let me, let me, yeah, let me block it. It clearly doesn't work. My shield's not strong enough. I dodge. I don't land a shot. It's quite sad. I should be picking up my souls, but okay, I think I do. Yeah, there you go. Good man. 
Okay, so it's... Yeah, I think right now I want to dodge forward. I think that'll help. It doesn't. Surprise. I get up. I drink my drink. He does a crazy flip. I get smacked again. The timing on this thing is unreal. I don't know what to do. I thought I got eaten there. I didn't. I'm just on the ground taking a nap ski. I miss and I get picked up again. <laughs> and we're dead. <laughs> like the gaping dragon. It's, it's eating me through a... Yeah, it's got many mouths. It's got many faces. It's quite terrifying. I'm literally shitting myself, but here we go again, baby. We don't back down. We never go hollow. So I check out the place. I'm like, let me go right. Let me try something else. This is clearly not working out. So I go over to the right and I'm like, holy shit, there's an item. And I forgot to pick up my soul. So I'm, <laughs> I'm panicking, dude. I think it's about 20,000, which I know it's not a lot. I know it's not a lot, but you know, I'm a little cheap. I like my souls. So the thing is just like back there hanging out. We're kind of waiting for it. It's kind of bathing in that little... Okay. It's coming. It's coming in hot. It's walking slowly. I dodge perfectly. Now the thought comes to mind. Hey, it's got tails. I should probably cut it. First time in this whole game that I've actually thought about cutting a tail. So I feel kind of proud of it. I'm not hitting the tail right now. I don't even know if it's got a tail, but... I also remembered that I forgot to cut the tail of the last boss. I was quite upset about it because apparently it was the Moonlight Sword from uh, Bloodborne and all these games. So, my bad. Okay, I gotta live with that now. But here we go. Still getting wrecked. We dodge, I think. I don't know. The camera is so janky. I am kind of losing my mind here. Um, we miss the, the grab, so that's good. We go under it. This is this is this is a good strategy, as we know. We stay back. Oh my God! It went away. It's completely gone. It's back. I try and hit it. I miss. I try and hit it again. I miss again. Boom. I miss again. Boom. I get it. 376. It's gone. I dodge. It's back. <laughs> okay. This is, this this was terrifying, dude. Seeing those arms under the belly or whatever the fuck that is. I hate centipedes, okay? I mean, I don't think anyone loves them, but they're horrifying, okay? Even even the tiny ones. They're, they're just disgusting. I even just talking about them, like looking around my room, because it's just it's just gross. Um, but we're killing it. Here's the tail. I'm like, is this the tail? Let me let me try and cut this thing. Um, it's got a face, but what just happened? I think I just did it. No. Now there's two bosses. <laughs> I actually got it, guys. I actually are you proud of me? I got the orange hard ring. Which, now thinking about it, I don't know if you get that anyways by killing this boss, because it is a pretty useful ring. I don't know how I could have gone past this area without it, um, but I guess we'll never know. Well, you guys can let me know in the comments. That would be much appreciated, but uh, we're still going at it. I thought I got grabbed there again. Freaked out, but no, we're good. We're still rocking it, and he's gone, and I'm on fire, but it's okay. <laughs> it's a lot of fire. <laughs> so I heal twice. Perfect. Okay, we got slammed again. No problem. The tail's off. He's clearly pissed. It's okay. We go for the legs. Smash them toes in. You know what I mean? Drink the drink. Go in again. We almost got this. So you know the heart's going crazy. But we got it, baby. We freaking did it. Two tries. Very happy about it. Centipede Demon goes down as one of the grossest bosses in my roster. <laughs> and I got my souls, guys. So I return to the last bonfire. As a responsible man. Orange charge ring. An orange ring enchanted by a witch reduces lava damage. Let's go. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him the special ring. But fool he is. He really dropped it. He, no, he readily dropped it. And from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. That's wild, man. All right, so this is the last time I'm leveling up before the DLC. We're at 75. I just pulled up the endurance. I was going to lose those souls if I didn't spend them. But holy cannolis. It's freaking soul air. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Find what? Oh, he's still there. Okay, hold up. Does he have any Why? new dialogue? After all this. Okay, so this actually confused the hell out of me, so I'm hoping you guys can let me know what this is all about, but I ended up equipping the ring, obviously, and look at us, man. Look at us. Freaking fireproof, baby. Wait, is that something over there? Nope. Literally nothing. Okay, never mind. We're good. Now, this 
really took me by surprise, man. I'm seeing dinosaurs, okay? And a whole new location. It's getting wild. There's a lot of fire, but luckily we have this ring. And now I'm just running. I'm, I'm just going. This is why I was saying, like, how the hell are you supposed to get through this without that ring? Killed some rocks. I do a little lap around the building. And I find a door. Obviously, I'm getting chased, so I'm being very careful. I'm not trying to fight the dinosaurs. And this is by far the coolest chest I think I've ever seen, so I open it. Voila, another soul. So I'm looking around, and I'm like, oh, there's another, there's another building. So, obviously I make my way up. As I make my way up, I find an item. Now I'm like, where the hell do I go? So I look around, and I see a giant temple. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that must be the way. So I drop onto the branch. And now I do a loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't see an opening. So I move on into the cool structure and up more branches. Now here the lighting change, which got me excited. I felt like I was close to the final boss. And now these are golden, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's a party, once again. Everyone's catching hands. Nobody's safe. Okay, maybe that one, because it's not real. Into the cool tunnel. Yeah, I'm slapping everybody around, okay? I'm that guy. I show up, I ruin the party, okay? These games, sometimes I feel like I'm I'm the villain, okay? These people are just casually chilling. I come in. <laughs> There's no one to tell the story, man. Now this right here, man, this took me back, okay? You're seeing the eyes. You're seeing the aliens. This took me right back to Bloodborne, man. We're fighting a great one in Dark Souls, baby. Easy peasy. I go around it. I hit it. I hit it twice. It's gone forever. I keep going up. I decide to take a right. I'm like, holy shit, how big is this place? This is gnarly. I keep going. I find another soul. So I end up dropping down and then coming back up. To my surprise, I see someone wearing the same thing as me. I'm like, holy shit, it's a friend. Nope. I'm almost dead. But I survive. I heal just in time. For the firestorm. I get back up. I get behind her. I slash. I slash. And they die. Pyromancy Chaos Fire Whip, which is amazing. Now here's the moment of truth. I'm like, is this gonna be the final boss? Holy cannolis, it's a freaking slide. This has gotta be the final boss. <laughs> and man, I gotta tell you, I was not ready for this. When I tell you my, my jaw dropped, my jaw freaking dropped. <laughs> what the shit is this, bro? I try and get close, you know? I'm like, okay. This is it's actually reminded me of Ebrietta's, uh, Daughter of the Cosmos. Th th this whole level, man, had so much Bloodborne in it for some reason. Um, let me know if you feel the same way, but I'm trying to hit the hands. It's not working out. I'm getting swept. Left and right. So I'm like, okay, we must, we must have to, like, go in the middle, hit those tentacles, and then try that out. So I try and check the place out. I'm trying not to get swept. That was actually a good dodge, but then I get slammed, obviously. So we continue. I'm scoping out the spot. It's a very interesting arena. I have no idea how I'm going to beat this thing, but I'm trying my best. I feel like we can go up this branch, and I fail instantly. So I try and get close to quickly realize that it's on a bed. It's, it's, it's raised, so I got to hit these tentacles. It's not working out. I look like a small child at a birthday party trying to hit a pinata. It's not working out, okay? So I'm like, what the hell? I must have to hit the hands. So I'm waiting for the sweep. It's coming in hot. Obviously, I miss. That was a window that I completely missed. So I try and get closer again. Boom! To my surprise, it takes no damage. Now I'm freaking out. And obviously, I'm dead, which is fine. I'm like, okay, I, 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 I realized that it's probably not going to go well the first try. But here we go again, man. And now I realize that Solaire is gone. Now I'm on the hunt for a bonfire because I realized that this has got to be one of the wackiest runbacks in history. So I realized, okay, we've got two temples and the giant one. One of them had a door open and the other one didn't. So I try and literally go through every single wall just to see if any of them would open. And to my surprise, well, a lot of them didn't. Until the one. 
Okay, let me say that again. Until the one, baby. This was such a moment, man. I'm freaking out. I'm like, I got a, I got a dinosaur on my ass. It's breaking through the walls. It's getting all janky. I can't die right now, so I sit and I feel much better, man. I feel incredible, you know? I, I'm, I'm closer to Dark Souls Ebrietas. I'm very happy. I'm ready to take on this boss a second time. Oh, and I also got evaded there, but luckily I just got through the fog gate, so <laughs> they just return home like the coward that they are. So I'm sliding, I'm going left and right. I'm trying to dodge the branches. I fail miserably. And here we go for round two of the bed of chaos. Now, right here, man, I'm like, okay, there's some interesting shit going on on the sides. They're glowing, which usually means that you should probably hit that thing. Uh, it was kind of the same with the last boss. Uh, the last boss, you had to smash something in the uh, in the middle there to, like, make it so it, it, it takes damage. I'm getting slapped left and right. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this was going awful, okay? But once again, we get back up. I'm trying to hit the hand, it's still taking no damage, so I can try and get away from it as fast as possible. I need to get to the sides, I need to see what that glowy thing is. So I slowly make my way up, safely, of course. We're running, we're running, we're running, we're dodging, it's going well so far, and boom! Break some branches, I'm in some kind of portal, it's kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I still see no damage. The branches aren't clearly a part of it. But as we get deeper into this portal, a cutscene happens. Now this really, really shocked me. <laughs> In a way, it felt like I was making the boss 10 times more powerful. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Speechless, man. So now I'm like, okay, we must be able to, to do damage now. That's, that's how it works, right? So I make my way out. Yep. Yep, you saw that right. <laughs> I rolled into my death. <laughs> so here we go, baby. <laughs> Round three. We got this. And now I'm like, holy crap. Okay, so at least the progress is still made. We're good. We just got to get the left side. Let's go. The floors. Yeah. I'm dead again. I am raging right now. I am pissed. <laughs> so we go again, baby. Round four. The floor is still there. But at least we've made progress. We don't have to get rid of the one on the right. That's a plus. I'm, I'm liking that. We just gotta get to the left one somehow, so I'm being very safe. I know the floor is gonna drop, so I'm going slowly. I'm not rolling. Rolling is bad right now. I realize. He put- okay, we're good. We get through the hole. We keep going, baby. I'm- I'm going- yeah, careful, careful. We continue. Now I realize I've been cornered. Can't go up the branch? We must go back. No, we can't do that. I must jump. A leap of faith, Miles. Here we go, baby. Woo! Made it. Almost fell into that hole. But we did it. We got to the left side. Same thing. Break some branches. And we're in, baby. Again, making the boss stronger, crazier. Honestly, pretty heavy metal, man. At this point, I think the fight is actually going to start. I'm going to be able to hit it. Hit the tentacles, hit the arms. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I will try my best. I'm fired up, baby. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm looking at it. <laughs> now, here I was ready to basically just smash my monitor with my controller, but I didn't. I went again, and the fire is starting on the slide, man. I'm freaking out. This makes no sense to me. But here we go. We must be able to do some damage now. I just gotta dodge. I gotta find my way to the middle. Hit the elbows or something. Hit the tentacles. That was the... Okay, what? The floor is gone again. So now, now I'm like, okay, it's gotta be the hands. So I try and get close to it. I try and dodge. There was a window there. I missed it. But then I notice that there's a branch in the middle there. 
So I'm like, okay, that must be something. That must be a way to the tentacles. The tentacles has to be the way to defeat this thing. So I keep going. I try and survive. I see that the tentacles are kind of falling off on this side. I try and hit it, and there's no damage. So at this point, I have no idea what to do. I'm about to die. Luckily, I got seven flasks. I can manage. One wrong hit, and I'm dead. But we're going. We're getting smacked left and right, but I see that branch. I think that's the way. So I try, and I jump on it. And I almost eat shit, but I'm good. And I just... I'm in the middle now. I'm in the middle. I see fire. I see way too much fire. I don't know how I didn't die. I break some branches. So I'm like, okay, this has to be the way to now get damage onto the beast, onto the bed of chaos. And well... Just like that, my jaw once again fell to the floor and I actually didn't say anything for about five minutes because how shocking that ending was. It felt so abrupt. It felt like such bullshit, to be honest. And just like that, guys, we have now acquired our fourth and final Lord Soul, Soul of the Bed of Chaos and the Mother of All Demons. This Lord Soul was found at the dawn of the Age of Fire. The Witch of Isolith attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul, but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire. Its power formed the bed of life, which would become the source of all demons, and is more than enough to satiate the Lord Vessel. And I love that. <laughs> From recording for hours, dying countless amounts of times, deleting the footage, doing this voiceover. It's been a wild ride, man, but I'm glad we did it. I really didn't want to miss an episode. Figured this would be the best way to kind of share the experience. Um, I had a lot of fun playing this level, as annoying as it was. And I can't wait to be back in the normal setting uh, with the face cam and the longer videos. I know this was a bit shorter. I'm just running out of time here and I really just had to do the best that I could uh, with what I had. I hope this was still somewhat enjoyable for you guys. I really appreciate you if you watch this whole thing, man. You are the shit. I love you guys so much. It's basically the end of the game. We just have the DLC left. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.